Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? So, today we are going to go over my ethnicity from my ancestry DNA results. Uh, I've been waiting for these. I'm super excited about this. Um, my mom is full Puerto Rican. My dad is Panamanian and black from literally Panama. Um, from his side of the family, I'm a second generation citizen. My mom was born in Puerto Rico, but Puerto Rico is part of the US. So, I want to go into what I am. I'm Afro Latino all the way. But I want to go into the breakdown of that. Um, I'm going to show you my ancestry DNA results. I'm going to show you kind of what it shows you when it's finished. And then I'm going to talk about like the process a little bit. It's really not complicated at all. Um, I'll hopefully have timestamps below. Um, I'm not sure if I'll remember that timestamp should just consist really of the results. After the results, I should go over the process and just my thoughts on the whole thing. So. I'll let you guys know what I think. Please let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys are Afro Latino as well, please let me know what countries, what nations, what parts of the world you guys are from. I'm tired of y'all bitches. Just know that I'm gonna fuck your bitch. Pussy. Or if you guys have done any ancestry DNA results, let me know what you guys have because I thought this was super interesting and I would love to hear your guys' results. So if you guys are interested in content like this or content that is just a little bit educational, let me know down below. Talk to you guys soon. Yo, yo, yo. So as you can see here, this is the breakdown of my ancestry kit. Um, up in the top left corner where my name is covering, it just says DNA story for my first and last name, which my first name is Armando. I don't really know how I want to say my last name on stream. If it comes out, I really don't care, but it is what it is. So if you guys look through, your DNA looks most like DNA from these 17 world regions. I, I assumed I was going to have a Spaniard DNA and African DNA a lot. I did think I would have probably more European DNA just because I'm the Puerto Rican in me. I thought I would probably have a little bit more from the European nations. I was I was very surprised at how little I have of anything that is really known as like a white country. I have like 1% here, like in a couple places that add up to like 5%, 6% here and there, or maybe even a little bit more. But honestly, I'm, I'm really, I'm from Spain and I'm from Africa. If you look essentially, I'm from Spain and I'm from Africa. So let's get right into it guys. Um, so at the very top, of the marquee we have Spain so it says I am 30 to 44 percent Spaniard so um obviously this is far away from where we are in the US I'm in Ohio so I'm right around here far far away so now, Spain I am 33 percent Spain so that's quite a bit I thought I would have honestly this indigenous Puerto Rico I thought I would have more of this just because my mom is full Puerto Rican but what a lot of people don't understand is the multitude of races within Puerto Ricans is incredible. A lot of these things come from, I believe, the Puerto Rican side of me. I believe most of the stuff that I come from Africa come from my dad's side of the family. I'm not saying necessarily, but I think most of them. Like the Benin and Togo, Nigeria, those are from my dad. Northern Africa, that's from my dad. Cameroon, from my dad. Like I know these are from my father. The Spain, from my mom. Portugal, from my mom too, because very close to Spain. That's why that's why a lot of a lot of people that speak Portuguese, they speak very close to Spanish. It's it's very similar. A lot of the words are even the same. So then we have 22% Nigeria. So I'm 6 to 31% Nigerian. I was surprised by this range because that's that's a crazy that's a crazy crazy range. And if you look here, you start to see the other places that I'm from. Benin, Togo, Ghana. I I have a, like 1% Cameroon, all of this. So um 6 to 31% Nigerian obviously an African nation, Benin and Togo, like I was saying, um, zero to 32%. So like most of my blood comes from Africa. And I was shocked by this because obviously I'm not very dark, but just because you're not very dark doesn't mean you're not necessarily African. Um, so when I say like I'm black and stuff, I am from these areas that are black. If you look at my family, you'll see. If you see me in the summer, I have a, I have a lot of lights on around me. That's why like if I put on this green screen, that's why I looked so bright previously. A lot of green screens, my face, even in the camera looks a little bit lighter, but I don't care about that. So Benin and Togo, Nigerian, both African. So that's a 38% whopping here. 
a Cameroon. If you guys know anything about Cameroon, Cameroon is where the UFC champion, heavyweight champion of the world is from, Francis Ngannou. Um, Francis Ngannou grew up a very rough life in in the Cameroon area. He was he was literally digging. He was he was digging in sand, like wet sand, wet dirt as a child. So very, very tough work. Um, then we have Northern Africa, 4%, Portugal, which makes sense with Spain, indigenous Puerto Rico makes sense, Mali, part of Africa, Senegal, Ivory Coast, and Ghana. Then we start to get to the areas where you start to see probably where my complexion stuff, more of my complexion comes from. So um, Germanic Europe, 1%. So I'm German. I'm a little German, 1% German. I'm 1% Norwegian. I'm 1% Scottish. Sardinia? I don't know what Sardinia is. And did I'm I guess I'm a little bit Mexican also. Did not know that I was any Mexican at all in my body. I didn't know it was in my soul, but I'm more, I guess I'm Mexican and Puerto Rican. <laughs> not even that much more Puerto Rican, honestly. But indigenous Eastern South America. I, I'm curious. I think the reason why this comes up is because I have family from like the Barbados and things like that. I know that's more of a Central American area, but I'm assuming during all the times when slaves were being transferred from different locations, I'm, you can see where some of these areas where they went to, honestly. So that's probably why I'm Norwegian. That's probably why I have Norwegian and Scottish in me. It's probably from all the times that all the things are going on with all the um, conquerors and everything, all the people that traveled over to the Americas or to Panama or to all of these regions that I may be coming from. Um, then I'm actually a European <laughs> Jewish somehow. I'm assuming that is from, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue what that's from. But guys, I, I was super this when I saw this, honestly, I got a little emotional because when I saw how much I have from Africa and like on, my dad always talks about wanting to visit Africa. And I always I've always wanted to visit Africa and I've always wanted to go to this side of the world, but I've never known exactly why. But I felt like I was kind of drawn to it. I know it sounds corny. I'm not saying I am drawn to it or anything like that, but I've always wanted to see what these parts of the world are. And definitely now after seeing that I have so much of my blood coming from Africa, I want to see what these areas look like. I want to travel the world in all honesty. I think it's super dope them from these. Also, also one thing for the Afro Latino people out there um, and you do see you're from areas like this. Think about how close they are to bodies of water and how easy it would be to tra travel out on boats and things like that. And that's where that's where I think a lot of these things come from as far as um, our cultures. So um, I'm, I'm not only doing this for myself, but I know when I looked this up, trying to see other Afro Latino results, especially for Panamanian Puerto Rican people, I feel like I haven't found too many. I found a couple and I, I can sit down and I can really enjoy them. But um, this is my experience. This is my experience as uh, a Spanish, Nigerian, Norwegian, <laughs> Scottish, Mexican Jewish German <laughs> which is funny but I don't really, I'm joking when I say I'm all the things that are one percent like I'm each one of those things because I get like I don't have a lot of that in me but when it comes to the Spanish and um black part of me like Afro Latino all of that that's what I embody all of me then all of this sounds Spanish um Africa 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 more spanish spanish africa 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 like it, it's just shocking to me so if you guys want to know more about your ancestry i highly 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 advise you guys to look into ancestry dna it was a hundred dollars um what happens is they send you a little vial they send you a little package with a vial in it you spit in the vial you literally just spit in it. it's not a whole bunch and then they give you this little blue formula thing you empty the formula into the vial that you spit in, but you don't really empty it. You kind of just click it on top and shake it so it mixes. When it mixes, you put it back in the box that they give you to send and you send it off. When I sent mine off, I would say it probably took me, it probably took me about six weeks to get this. Um, there's a little bit more information in here. It, it'll tell you like the years and every, like here, DNA communities. So like it tells you, my coming from connected to your other regions. Remember I said it was connecting to Portugal and stuff. I just saw it somewhere in here. Oh, but Spain's rich port. 
See, remember I was talking about the people traveling. So it's super interesting because you can see so much on here. And the reason why the dates will go back further for some people than other people, if you have more European um, blood in you, I'm assuming it will go back way further than the 1700s. If you think about the whole history of slaves and everything like that, it's you're not going to get much further than 1700, 1800. You're, you're just not. It doesn't happen. That's why, like, even with my lesser African Caribbean areas, because if you look at the look, Dominic, Dominica, St. Luisa, Barbados, all these places, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, all these places right here. Look, Jamaica's right here. The Dominican Republic, Bahamas, all of it. Panama, where my father's from. But it's crazy, guys. Like, I don't know. I, I know I grew up for a lot of my life not knowing at all really what I was. I knew I was black, Puerto Rican, and Panama. I knew that I was Spanish and black, essentially. But you don't know where your blood's from. Very few people hear about getting much further than... um than their grandparents as far as understanding their heritage where they're from and all that kind of stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really enjoyed finding this information out please give me guys give me a like it will help me out tremendously and this will get out to more people like us like me so i hope you guys can enjoy this i appreciate you guys more than you guys understand and i'll talk to you guys later